Welcome back everybody to What's on Wednesday. Well, uh, I've done this before, but I used it as uh, wagons on Wednesday. Or just wow. Anyways, I've also done that where I've missed uh, uh, Muscle Car Monday. And then I just showed Muscle Car Monday, what, on Wednesday? <laughs> so I thought maybe this is a cool segment. I've got Muscle Car Monday, Trucking Tuesday, and What's on Wednesday. So wow, let's have a look what I found today. Now, I'm not sure how many other channels have found these ones. Uh, I've seen a few that have shown some of these. And I found some cool matchbox, as you can see right there. And I found a very cool Hot Wheels uh, model I want to show you, but stay tuned for that. So let's show you the matchbox I found today. And these are very cool five packs. Now let's look at this one first. It's the matchbox electric drivers. Now they did a five pack with electric vehicles before. And uh, the thing about the electric vehicle uh, five packs is uh, they've got this uh, kind of weird texture uh, recyclable uh, material rather than just the plastic uh, as you can see there because after all you know if they're going to do electric vehicles that are environmentally friendly <laughs> then they got to do the packaging that's environmentally friendly and recyclable and so this is very cool. I love that one. And then, of course, we have this cool Matchbox Japan Tours. <laughs> and uh, some very cool cars there. And then we have the Matchbox Highway 2. And some very cool cars there. So just hang on. I'll uh, open these up and let you have a look at some of them. So hang on. I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. I laid them out on the table. And now, very cool. Now, there was a first uh, edition where they showed uh, electric vehicles and they were all in white, I think. Uh, but this is the second one. And uh, anyways, very cool. And uh, well, where I live, uh, we have uh, taxi companies that use this exclusively. The older generation Prius. The new ones don't hold up as well, from what I've been told by the cab drivers. So this is very cool casting here. And as you can see, cover it 2015. It's 2009 Prius, but very cool car. And so these are uh, very popular uh, taxis. And, well, New York City taxi. I guess they use them now because big cars are just too gas guzzling. But Matchbox loves New York City. So very cool there. And then the next one is the i8. Or, uh, no, sorry, i uh, i3 i3 i8 is the sports car version but very cool there and now i got a beautiful metallic black version and they got the tempos on the front very cool tempos on the back gotta love that one and then we have the honda insight this was uh the next insight after their little two-door sporty model that they had and I got to drive these back then when they were new because I worked at the Honda dealership starting in 2008. So this is a 2010 model. And uh, they weren't particularly fast because they weren't supposed to be fast. They were just supposed to be fuel efficient. And okay, very cool styling on it. And Matchbox did a nice job of the details. So very cool there. And then International, well, this is a 2009 and I guess this was a concept vehicle. I don't know if it ever went into production. But still a very cool vehicle. So it's nice to have that. And they've issued this in many different issues. <laughs> colors or whatever. And uh, very nice. And then of course we got the Nissan Leaf. And beautiful little casting. Great tempo work. So gotta love that one. Now... As you can see, the black portion with the windows, uh, you can't see through it, but that's all plastic. But that's okay. It's a very cool casting of a cool second-gen leaf. And so the tampos are very nicely done. Let's see how close I can get in here, but that's pretty nice. So there you go there. And then we have, well, 
we have uh, the Matchbox Japan Tourers. <laughs> now, I'm not sure if these uh, vehicles are all exclusive to uh, the 5-pack because this one has been issued in white. And, well, this is a uh, copyright 2017, 17 Civic. Uh, it came out in, well, 17, first year. And I think this is supposed to be the Well, Sport or Sport Touring, I have the LX model in white. The LX, the actual real car, I'm leasing that, 2019. And I absolutely love this car. Well, the real car, uh, the casting, you know, they could have done a better job. But hey, whatever. I don't care. And then they got a very cool, uh, another version of the Subaru Impreza WRX, carpet 2007. Very cool. This is the police version. So it's got the light on, light bar on top. And very nice. And the five packs, well, generally, you know, if you get temples on the side, they don't put taillights and headlights. But um, I'm not sure if these are part of the main line. And, well, this is definitely a cool casting. Great temple work front and back. Love that one. Can uh, we see the sh chassis here? I'm sure you want to see that, right? So very nice there. Beautiful little casting. And this is the one that I really love in this five pack. And look at the temple work on the roof rack. Look at that. That's so cool. Temples on the trunk lid and on the front. And of course, nothing up front or back. But it's a very cool little casting. Love this one. Look at that metallic orange paint. Very nice. Now that is awesome for the roof rack. So that was really nice they did that. And then of course you have, uh, let's see, the Datsun Junior, or the Nissan Junior, sorry, well, it says 62, so it would have been the Datsun, but Datsun, Nissan, same thing. Pretty cool little casting there. And there's the chassis. All right, very cool. And then, of course, we have the Matchbox Highway 2. And, uh, well, I'm not going to pull every car out because we've seen these cars before. And, you know, as a police car, the Hudson Hornet. And then the Camaro, that's been issued in so many different colors. It's beautiful in this red color. And the very cool uh, 33 Ford Hot Rod. And I thought that was in a single pack in this color. I'm not sure, but still very cool. And, of course, we've got to love the Firebird, the 71 Pontiac Formula. And this one has taillights and uh, some headlight details. Grill. And then the last one is the very cool 57 GMC Stepside. So love that one. But this one has been issued in many different colors. And I haven't been collecting this one. I've got a few of them, but I absolutely love, love red, so I had to get this one. Okay, well, that's Matchbox. I want to show you a very cool Hot Wheels I found, so just hang on, and I'll get right back to you. Welcome back, everybody. Well, I've been collecting these uh, series of vehicles from Hot Wheels. And this time they're calling it Super Rigs. They've called it different names over the years. Sometimes they don't have any names and just give you the trucks. <laughs> it's Hot Wheels, you know. And uh, in the past, they've called it Pavement Pounders. And I've got some very cool stuff. And I've showed those in uh, previous videos. And well, this time, uh, you know, every time they issue these uh, vehicles, I always look on the back of the package to see uh, what vehicles they have. And... Uh, this one tuned up. I got that one. That's really cool. Uh, that one's okay. And that's okay. And that's kind of cool there. Uh, I've been passing on this one. It's very cool. I love the mad props. And I should have picked that up. But this is the one that I got. And I think this is absolutely cool. Now where's the copyright here? 2021. But this is brand new. And I'll show you the front of the package. And they're calling it the Rat Rig. 
And I thought this was so cool when I saw it on the shelf, but I didn't have the money to buy it, so I had to pass it up. And then I went back a few days later because I wanted to buy it, and uh, everything was gone. All of the all of these super rigs were gone off the shelf. I thought, oh, that's too bad. And so anyways, I went in, and uh, uh, there's a, a little uh, area where they put uh, baskets of returns and stuff. And sometimes people take something off the shelf and leave it somewhere else. But there were these baskets of uh, various products, and it's in the toy section. And so I thought, well, I'll look in the basket that says toys. And I'm looking through it, and this was at the bottom. <laughs> All right, cool. I didn't miss out on it. Now, of course, they're probably going to get more in. But when I saw it again, I thought, all right, good. This is my chance to get it. Well, let's have a look at this very cool rig right here. Cool, the rat rig. Oh, I love this. And if you're into trucks and big rigs and whatnot, that's so cool. Now, of course, this is uh, styled after the bone shaker. Because you got this very cool skull here. That's uh, the grill. And then you got two big blown V8 engines hanging off the sides here. And very cool. Absolutely love it. And then, of course, it comes with the bone speeder. Now, this is a casting that I haven't been really collecting. I haven't seen many of them. But let's uh, focus on this one first. Very cool idea. Based on the bone shaker. But it's a racing version with the engine in the back. How cool is that with a big wing on it and the seat in the center so that's really cool well uh, like I said I haven't seen many of these castings but I did get this one and of course with the Hot Wheels race team livery on it and the open five spokes are faster than ever oh, I thought that's really cool now it says uh, copyright 2015 on the chassis and it's copyright 2015 on the package so i guess this is one of the first editions and only having two well these are the two coolest ones to have i think so love that one and well what i discovered was uh it's actually too wide to fit on <laughs> on the back but that doesn't matter. You can sort of hang it off the side, I guess. There you go. That looks cool. But look at the rig itself. Now, the brown portion there is in this uh, metallic brown plastic. Very nice. Very cool tapos on it. Then you got some rust effects on the bottom. You got the ramp that folds up with this uh, tapo on the back. Very cool. Well, let's look at chassis here because that black portion is metal. So copyright 2021, rat rig. I'm going to look for the other issues of this one for sure when they come out with it. And of course, uh, metal chassis on the actual tractor unit, uh, the truck itself. And this brown portion, that's metal as well. So you got lots of metal on this one. And, of course, the engine in the black chrome. And it has a windshield in it, so that's really neat. And if we can get a look inside, uh, not much to see, but it's got an interior in it. But how cool is that? Now, like I said, it's, you know, it's uh, based on the bone shaker theme. And, well... Uh, They've made lots of bone shakers, and I collect the bone shakers, and very cool. So I thought, well, what addition did they have that would go along with this one? Well, I have a casting right here, and I have collected a bunch of different colors in the 2006 first editions. And here we have that beautiful brown, and it's actually kind of a metallic finish or whatever. So that goes with the bed and definitely fits in with the truck. And that would fit on the bed, no problem. And I don't want to take this out. I have two in the package. And well, it's so cool with the gold chrome. But how perfect is that?
So anyways, I hope you enjoy this video. Hope you enjoy this one. And, well, hopefully you enjoy Matchbox as well. Uh, I mean, I love it all. So thank you very much for watching. And if you see this one and like this one, definitely pick it up because uh, this one's going to be very popular, I think. And it'll be hard to find, but you'll absolutely love it if you love hot rods and crazy looking rigs like this. So thanks again. I'll catch you in the next one.